thank you for joining us today. We, they will be discussing about anxiety. And, and with me, I have here Mr. Kennedy Wakwaya. He's a program coordinator at New Dawn Mentorship. And he's taking us through anxiety. Something which we all, sometimes we all experience or we kind of confuse it with panic attacks. So he'll take us through anxiety. Welcome. So for the first question I'll ask, what is anxiety? Anxiety is a, is a, do you say a feeling? It's a feeling that one has uh, experiences. Anxiety has to do with fear or tension, where you, uh, you have a fear of something happening. It is usually a normal experience that we all go through in life. All of us have, uh, are anxious at one time or another. Uh, so the difference between anxiety, there's, there's a situation that allows, uh, that is a cause for concern if uh, the anxiety results into a disorder. So we all go through anxiety. We all are anxious when we have uh, experiences that are uh, not our normal, in our normal way of things. If you have an interview, you'll be anxious. If you are expecting somebody to come who is a stranger, you'll be anxious. But now, when you have a disorder, the feelings of fear and trepidation are, are experiences which you have on a, do you say, on an unusual, consistent basis. You are anxious over things which, uh, over, over situations or things that you are not supposed to be anxious over. Yeah. So, uh, to the other question, mm -hmm. uh, since you have told us, uh, you have defined to us what anxiety is, mm -hmm. can you take us through the types of anxiety that are there, that are known? Assuming now, there's, there's anxiety and there's anxiety disorder. Yeah. When you talk about anxiety disorder now, we have different types of anxiety disorders. We have what is called obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, which normally is called OCD. Somebody is anxious over spaces. They want to clean their areas beyond the level where it is clean. They are concerned about uh, issues, uh, how or about the area, they are, a new place they are going to sit in. Uh, they are not really comfortable. Uh, they, they have to be the ones in charge of cleaning any situation, whether it's plate, spoon, or seat, possibly for different reasons. There's also uh, what we call um, post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, post-traumatic stress disorder is caused by trauma uh, from different reasons. Uh, mainly, we have post-traumatic stress, stress disorder when people have, uh, when soldiers go through war and they come back and they constantly have to deal with situations where uh, they are reminded of the episodes they went through during the period they were in war, or sometimes trauma uh, because of uh, a, a loss of a loved one, where you keep on having to deal with uh, fears of uh, things that m have not happened, but you're creating a situation where you think it will happen, so you constantly are afraid. There's also what is called selective mutism, um, you have people who are com normally able to speak well in different uh, environments, but when uh, exposed to maybe uh, a new place, they are not able to speak. So they are mute. It is selective. It is, they are not normally not mute, but uh, in a new environment, they are mute. Um, the, uh, the final one, uh, we can talk about uh, general anxiety. You are an anxious of, uh, uh, which we, we can say is very related to uh, selective mutism. But uh, if you are uh, overly anxious of uh, being exposed to a stage, you want, you want to speak, you are, in, you are asked to go to speak in a place and uh, you become very ex extraordinarily anxious, mm. then that is usually called ge general anxiety. Uh, mm -hmm. Since you have, you have told us the types of anxiety disorders that are there, mm -hmm. so if I can ask, uh, what causes this anxiety? 
what causes someone to get anxiety? Uh, the, re the causes are as different as possibly uh, we uh, human beings are. We, the area of uh, human psychology is, is a new field. And uh, there are a lot of uh, things that we are still come, people are still coming to learn about. But what has been described as uh, causes for anxiety are one, we have uh, trauma, uh, as I mentioned, where post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, trauma is an experience that uh, leaves you uh, in a situation where you, you have a faced a loss or you have faced an experience that has left pain in you that you have no way of dealing with, so you are traumatized. Uh, the other reason for people being anxious, having experiencing anxiety disorder, is alcoholism. Being uh, or using drugs, having to use them for a long time, creates situations that you, you, are expo you become anxious. Uh, the other area is uh, genetics. People, some people are predisposed to being anxious as opposed to others. Just uh, the example of post-traumatic stress disorder. You see, there are people who, there are two people who go for, to a war, or go uh, to war and uh, fight in the same battalion or company, come back, they, they go through the same experiences. One person will come back with post-traumatic stress disorder, the other will come back very normal. So genes have a, have a contribution towards somebody experiencing uh, stress. Uh, the other issue is um, uh, to do with uh, depression. Uh, in your earlier, in your other uh, discussion, you had in, uh, somebody talking about depression. But a depressed person can exhibit uh, qualities of uh, anxiety in different ways. You know that uh, the person was talking about depression. Depression has to do with sadness. Anxiety has to do with fear. So the, uh, when uh, somebody is depressed, they're sad, possi there may be a possibility that uh, in certain in interactions, they may be afraid of uh, doing certain things. Yeah. So, uh, what, what of, uh, can you tell when someone has anxiety? Can you, like, the symptoms, can someone see the symptoms or how does someone who, who's experiencing anxiety behaves? What are their symptoms? Symptoms of uh, anxiety, and that is why we, talk, we, we say this area of psycho psychology and psychiatry is a new field. Mm -hmm. Somebody experiencing psychiatry may have similar emotions to somebody going through depression or many other and abnormalities that humans face. One of the things you may notice with uh, when somebody is going through anxiety will be that uh, they may experience a dry mouth. Maybe somebody you you want somebody to to speak in in a in a place in an to an audience you notice that that they are trembling or you notice that uh, they, uh, they are not able to be as lucid in their, in their discussion as they are supposed to be. Uh, you have people who have, uh, who experience, uh, do we say fear? Do we call it fear? Uh, or sometimes they have trouble concentrating. Somebody who is, uh, who is supposed to do something, but, uh, Constantly, they are losing. They are not concentrating because of a diff of uh, whatever kind of anxiety they are going through. So it it would be that uh, if somebody is going through some form of anxiety, then based on on which anxiety they are going through, there may be some who lack concentration. There's also the issue of uh, trouble with sleeping. Some anxiety creates. Uh, some anxiety disorders create uh, fear, uh, inability to sleep. Somebody's supposed to sleep. You, you see a lot of children, maybe when they have uh, certain dreams, and uh, and uh, when uh, they are uh, in that point where they need to go to sleep, 
they are completely unable to because of the anxiety created by a nightmare they experience. So they are, are having trouble sleeping, but also they are having fear of sleep. So this could be some of the uh, symptoms that somebody with, with an anxiety disorder uh, may exhibit. So an another question is, mm -hmm. Can someone, uh, is there any treatment for anxiety disorder? How can anxiety be treated? Uh, there are two main ways anxiety can be treated. One is psychotherapy. One uh, may need to visit a psychiatrist to be able to, to be helped. Or the alternative is using drugs. Um, strangely enough, uh, drugs that I used to treat deep depression, maybe similar drugs that are used to treat different kinds of uh, 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 anxiety, anxiety disorders. So one may be pre prescribed uh, antidepressants. It is important to diagnose which kind of anxiety you're going through, which kind of anxiety disorder you're going through in order to be able to see how you can be helped. Uh, apart from you know that's the, the way you say the psycho mm -hmm. psychotherapy mm -hmm. and taking drugs yeah mm -hmm. uh, what of the natural uh, remedies of trying to treat uh, anxiety. anxiety disorder so sometimes you know there's something you can let's say it's like first aid mm -hmm. something you can do mm -hmm. before actually going to see a psychiatrist or or or, a, or to get the medicine uh, what you can do uh, usually knowing that uh, anxiety is uh is a, is an experience people may may be going through at different times uh, it, it, one uh, may be it may be important to to do a couple of things at home to help you one of the things that may help you is finding ways of uh avoiding or relaxing uh, one thing that uh, is encouraged a lot is trying to exercise, eating a balanced diet, finding ways of, uh, if, if, uh, if depending on the anxiety disorder, either approaching it or finding ways of uh, avoiding it. So it, it will be dependent on what you're going through. But uh, uh, also one other area that is important in dealing with anxiety is relationships. Building good and healthy relationships around you would help you in dealing with anxiety. Uh, uh, finally, learning to take time to, if you are religious, pray. If you're not, meditate in a way as to help to, you to, to settle down uh, your nerves. And anxiety has to do with, uh, also has to do with the nerves. If your nerves are very high up there, then you may need to find ways of cooling yourself down. Yeah. Thank you so much for that wonderful session. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very educative, and I'm sure one or another you have helped someone somewhere out there mm -hmm. with the information that you came with and you educated us. Thanks so much, Mr. Kennedy. And I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm. We have other sessions like this one so that we can educate more and more people. And thank you. And guys, see you on the next episode. Good day.